Greetings friends, welcome back to the channel. And if it's not welcome back and just a regular old welcome, thank you so much for clicking on over today. If you happen to like content that's positive, nerdy, comedic, and kind, then go on ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> so I went an entire week without uploading. That is a first in channel history. I hope for it never to happen again, but essentially I just needed a little bit of time to take care of some business. Good morning, fam. It is 6.30 a.m. in Los Angeles, and it's the second day in a row that I've been up this early for a conference that we have every year at work. It's virtual, so we're being safe. I also had an exciting commercial audition come in but it had a quick turnaround time and I haven't uploaded the video that I wanted to upload on Wednesday. Oh! So, anyway, she's doing her best. She's trying to be kind to herself, but I just wanted to check in and let you know I'm alive. And also the power went out one evening. Which definitely set me back a bit. Ah, hashtag 2020. But I am back and I am ready to report to you for not just another week in 2020. During the week of radio silence, which I hope to never repeat again, I voted, <sighs> but we'll vlog about that later. Gonna go vote. Today is a vlog solely about October the 17th. And why is that an important date? Well, it's because it is the day of the big song. What's the big send, you might be asking? The big send is the day where volunteers working with Swing Left and Vote Forward's collaborative campaign of writing letters to voters in super states. October 17th is the day that those organizations ask their volunteers to send those letters out. So we did. Off to the post office. Go. Let's send these babies off. moment catalogs the Arburn Coalition, so myself in Los Angeles, my mom in Salt Lake City, and my aunt in Sacramento. Today we're cataloging all of us making that final step of the journey and delivering these letters to the post office. Let's start with Aunt Darcy in Sacramento. This was her the evening before the big send, so October 16th. Take it away, Darcy. Okay, so just getting ready to kind of pack stuff up. I got to take off rubber bands and things like that. But we have 1,340 letters written by 40 plus letter writers in the Sacramento branch of the Auburn Coalition. This is pretty stinking cool. So more to happen tomorrow. Claps for Aunt Darcy. Woohoo! Over a thousand letters from Sacramento, very proud of her. Now we're just going to jump on over to Salt Lake City with Mamala. Mamala! Good morning! Today is October the 17th, 2020, and it is the big send for Swing Left and Vote Forward. We're in Salt Lake City. We have 3,741 letters here. I'm grateful to every single person who participated, who wrote letters, who donated stamps, who donated paper, who donated envelopes or ink. This could not be done without a lot of people. I have over 40 people writing letters here in Salt Lake. And I just want to say that to me these letters are like a boat. You think your one little one doesn't matter, but when you put it in with everybody else's, look how big it is. So I'm overwhelmed with gratitude and thank you. Snaps for Mamala, 3,000 plus letters. Now that is very impressive. She's the one that started it all. She's been the leader of our coalition. And wow, mom, such a great job. And then finally, yours truly in Los Angeles. Take it away, Amy, of October the 17th. It is October 17th, which is the big send day. And we're sending all of these lovely letters. David's gonna get a close up. Well, not of the addresses. Mm. Oops. <laughs> Just the letters. 
This is 640 letters. We had in LA 15 plus writers as a coalition together. So we have LA, Sacramento, and Salt Lake City. We had, I think, near 100 writers, nearly 6,000 letters written. And so today we're copying them in the mail and they're going to voters in Florida, Arizona, South Carolina. And these are states that are super states. So they're critically important for the, for the general election. Thank you to David. He's going to be filming me as we go on our journey to the post office and send these. I wrote 40 of them too. Yes, he did. 40. Really? Not more than that? 40. Okay, 40. And he's a law student, guys. So if a law student can find time to write 40 letters, you can too. Make sure you go vote. Make sure you encourage your people to go vote. And uh, David, let's go drop these off, shall we? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Also, you may be right. I maybe did 60. I think you did 60. Two in my apartment did... and one here. Yes. Oh. 60 letters. 60. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's cut. <laughs> 640 letters with me and my friends in Southern California. Yay! <laughs> oh, that was weird. That was like a little bit of a monkey sound, wasn't it? If you know him, you know him. If you don't, you should go binge my stuff. Now, let's take all those letters to the post office. We did it! Yes, we did. 640 letters dropped off. And David, did we meet people? That's 215 letters. Yeah, we actually saw people in the post office who just turned around and they were like, the big send? And we're like, hell yeah! And they wrote how many? 215. 215. And we wrote 640. So just there in that post office for five seconds, we had nearly a thousand letters being sent. I'm so proud of us. Hi. Hi. It's like, are you trying to have on the camera or me? I have did both. <laughs> we did it! Yes, we did. Seven months, nearly 6,000 letters, 100 plus writers and contributors, people who donated, people who gave stamps, gave paper, gave ink, gave envelopes, people who took the time to write, to deliver the letters. This took so many people. And like my mom said, if you just envision this effort and parallel it to voting, out of many comes one voice, vote. I'm just really proud of us. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude for my mom and my aunt who show me how to be women who take action in times of turmoil. I'm grateful to every single person that helped us accomplish what we did. I think it's really amazing. 6,000, nearly 6,000 letters from just one little section of the country. I'm grateful to Swing Left and to Vote Forward for providing us with a safe way to be politically involved this election cycle. And I'm grateful to all of you guys, of course, for following along in the journey. And hopefully you take some inspiration from it and, you know, gather your troops and your people to get out the vote this election season and for every election to come. It is a right and it is a privilege and one that we should take advantage of. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, cast your ballots, wear your masks, wash your hands, black lives still matter. And as always, be seen, be heard, be kind. See you Saturday for some be heard bonus fun and coming soon, Iron Man Trace. Oh yeah.